Hello guys. So today the topic of choice is contraception made easy. Here not only I have included the option gynae but also the PSM part. So after watching the video do try solving attempting MCQ from whatever source you have done both from your PSM point and from your OBG point of view. So see this is basically your IUCD. This is basically your OCP, OCPs that uh, this is your diaphragm. This is your condom. So basically let's start with the topic. So first question from your PSM point of view what is pearl index okay so basically uh, this pearl index is used to uh, calculate the efficacy of contraceptive so it is defined as the number of contraceptive failure per 100 women so this is given by hwy that is per 100 women year out of 100 women who use in a year okay per 100 how many of them get actually pregnant so see total number of accidental pregnancy by total months of exposure into 1200 this is your formula that you need to know okay so this formula again again goes into your 20th notebook this is again important see then uh, what is eligible couple so the persons who are in the reproductive age group okay that is wife in the reproductive age group that is 15 to 45 years so they are termed as the eligible couple again mcq what in india the eligible couple it's 150 to 180 eligible couple per thousand population again mcq from your psm aspect now couple protection rate so it is the percentage of eligible couple who is using any of the methods of contraception so in india the couple protection rate is 45 percent and this is again mcq to achieve a net reproductive rate of one the couple protection rate more should be more than 60 percent means more people should use the contraception so that reproductive rate decreases now coming on to a uh, like uh, this is basically uh, this is basically a, a question you need to solve so the question begins like this. there is a new contraceptive in the market you need to check the efficacy okay Okay. so 20 out of 100 women become pregnant okay despite using this contraceptive for two years continuously what is the pearl index so see uh, let's put in the formula total number of accidental pregnancy goes how many ladies got pregnant 20 ladies by uh, by total number of exposure one lady used for two years guys total months so one year uh, 12 months so two year 24 months sorry so 2 into 12 and uh, how many women used it this is for one one women exposure and 100 women used guys and into 2400 let's calculate it guys so when when you when you calculate this guys okay when you calculate this this comes out to be 10 hundred women years okay so this means that uh, the failure rate of a, out of the 100 women who use in a year 10 women get pregnant so this is the pearl index now coming on to the uh, starting with the methods of contraception so first we have the natural method so natural method includes many methods like C one is the rhythm method calendar method then basal body temperature method cervical mucus method symptothermic method coitus interruptus or withdrawal method sexual abstinence or lactational amenorrhea so see moving to the uh, moving one by one rhythm method or the calendar method so rhythm method so we uh, try to calculate the safe period okay that is the uh, abstinence during the uh, fertile period that is from 8 to 18 days if you look at this guys 8 to 18 19 days is the fertile period so you abstain from sex during this period and that is because around the day 14 there is the ovulation days and when uh, there is ovulation so uh, there is a chance there is a chances of fertilization are very high so how do you calculate it so longest cycle minus the 11 day shortest cycle minus the 18th day this is used to calculate your fertile period this is again important so uh, this safe period first 10 days okay and 18 to 28 days is the safe period and 10 to 18 days basically the fertile period four days before and after the ovulation so see we have like many methods okay temporary method and permanent method okay so temporary method we had barrier method natural method intrauterine contraceptive steroidal contraceptive and emergency contraceptive so see we have all uh, we have uh, we have started with your natural method of contraception now coming on to the next method that is your basal body temperature so there is a rise in temperature by 0.3 to 0.5 due to progesterone at the time of ovulation again an important thing now coming on to the next one this cervical mucus method this is also known as billings method method frequently repeated mcq from your psm book okay parks so remember like this bc okay this cervical mucus this is also known as the billings method and here you look at the consistency of the cervical mucus that is the self now coming on to the symptothermic method so think it like a synergistic method okay the symptothermic is a synergistic so we combine the thing so the calendar method which we read plus bbt basal body temperature and cervical mucus when you combine this three methods guys this is the most effective natural method if someone asks you then sexual abstinence 
सो बेसिकली सेक्शुअल एब्सटेनेंस में टेकिंग 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 आउट बिफोर जस्ट जस्ट बिफोर द एंट्री ऑफ द स्पम यू टेक द टेक द पीनिस आउट दैट इज योर सेक्शुअल सेक्शुअल सॉरी सेक्शुअल एब्सटेनेंस इज नॉट हैविंग द सेक्स ओके सो दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट इफेक्टिव मैथड सॉरी गाइड क्वाइटस इंटरप्टस दिस इज बेसिकली पीनिस इज विदड्रॉन फ्रॉम द विजाइन जस्ट बिफोर द इजैकुलेशन बट देर इज हाई रिस्क ऑफ फेलियर गाइज ओके बिकॉज इवन इफ वन ड्रॉप ऑफ स्पम गोज आर चांसेस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी आर हाई सो द सो दिस क्वाइटस इंटरप्टस इज नॉट प्रेफर्ड सेक्शुअल एब्सटेनेंस इज बेस्ट इफ यू डोंट हैव सेक्स चांसेस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी आर नहीं सो दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट इफेक्टिव देन कमिंग ऑन टू द लास्ट वन दैट इज योर लेक्टेशनल एमिनोरिया सो सी uh you might have heard uh, many a times that uh, people say that uh, after having a baby six months you do not get pregnant but some of them gets why because see, there are three requirements for your lactational amenorrhea that is given by your balazio criteria so ma uh, so menstrual cycle has not returned that is there is no bleeding or spotting after 56 days postpartum baby is exclusively breastfed okay there is no complementary food and the baby is less than 6 month if if this three criteria are fulfilled okay no need of additional contraceptive okay if this criteria are not fulfilled okay uh then you need to start with other methods of contraception that is important so uh, if you are, if someone talks about postpartum method okay so postpartum what you, you can do either we can have iucd insertion or you can have your progesterone only pill never give combined oral contraceptive postpartum why combined will have both estrogen plus progesterone and this estrogen interferes with your milk production and when you are lactating feeding your baby you cannot interfere with your milk production so this is this is a contraindicated combined oral contraceptive cocs okay so you can have either have iucds or progesterone only pills now coming on to the barrier method the next criteria category wala thing so basically here what do you do you prevent you prevent uh, the sperm from entering basically that is your barrier method so see a uh, basically coming in contact so uh, you have male condom and female condom so this is the male condom so so it it is free under the trade name of nirodh by the government supply so this is made up of polyurethrin and basically latex so but uh, so what are the things that you need to uh, see uh, while using a condom there should be a air free space at the end and only one condom should be used only once and soon after ejaculation mel, uh, ma uh, male should withdraw the penis slightly holding the condom firmly against the body and the most advantage is that it prevents from sexually transmitted diseases that is very important okay this barrier method prevent the prevent from coming in contact hence prevent the sexually transmitted diseases then say female condom it has basically two rings the important thing that you need to identify from the image and uh, pearl index is 5 to 15 not so important then other question that uh, that someone ask you okay what are the non contraceptive uses of condom so either you can use it as condom catheter in postpartum hemorrhage when the bleeding is not stopping you can use it as condom tamponade or after vaginoplasty it can be used then see coming on to the other contact method one is the occlusive cap so you can have either diaphragm this is the diaphragm the okay and this is the cervical cap so this diaphragm should not be removed before 6 to 8 hours why does it say uh, like this because 6 to 8 hours okay this contains a spermicide okay and for spermicide to act the contact time is 6 to 8 hours so you cannot interfere with it and if it is left for long it can cause your toxic shock syndrome again important thing then uh, then this is vaginal sponge okay this is the image of the vaginal sponge which you see okay so that is today and this contains a spermicide known as the nonoxynol 9 so what does this uh, uh, spermicide tells you it kills the sperm basically so this disrupts the cell membrane as a result leading to killing of the sperm and this is used in the dose of 1 g okay uh, this is nonoxynol 9 See when we use this vaginal diaphragm or cap. Okay, when you try to fit the cap, so it cannot be fit uh, fit properly if there is a prolapse, cystocele, rectocele. If there is a recurrent UTI, you are putting some foreign material. There are chances of increased infection, and if there is allergy. Also, ah, uh, when you solve, ah, uh, there is a new thing that is flexi. Okay, this this flexi is a vaginal gel, which is a combination of three things. Okay, uh, I have re uh, remembered is like lactophenol, cotton blue. Okay, that is lactic acid, citric acid, potassium, um, pot uh, potassium bitartrate. Okay, this is again important, and this is ah uh, this regulates the pH of the vagina. As a result, does not allow sperm to enter. So this was about your barrier method. Now coming on to your types of intrauterine devices. 
when you talk about your intra uterine devices so uh, so basically this devices are uh, inserted okay and this devices prevent prevent the uh, prevent the means uh, uh, this prevent the sperm uh, this prevent the fertility okay implantation okay so how does this act basically what does this de this device do okay first of all we'll read the classification okay we have non medicated iucds that is your lipase loop see this one is the lipase loop this is a s shaped device double s shaped do you uh, see and made up of polyethylene and it can be left in uterus for as long as desired and uh, method of insertion is the push out technique now coming on to a medicated copper containing IUCD. So see you have copper T380A. Okay. And also you have like multi-load devices. You have copper T200. These are your copper second generation or the copper containing devices. See copper T380A. So what does this mean? 380. This means the surface area of the copper. A means that guys. It is made up of. A means that this is present on arms also. Do you see guys. Here we don't use the term A guys. So it's not present of arm. Only only on the body. Here it's also on the arms. And also uh, it's lifespan copper T. That is 10 years. Then this is used as a. This copper T can be used as an emergency contraception for 5 days. This we will be doing in the emergency contraception. Wala thing. And also use in, uh, use in breastfeeding women. Already done postpartum contraception. We can either use IUCDs. Or we can use progesterone only peel. So uh, this was about so uh, so see now coming on to your other one Mirina. So uh, you have a question on Mirina. So this Mirina is a hormone containing IUCDs. Okay, LNG IUD, levonorgestrel intrauterine system. Okay, so see what what happens. So this comes by the trade name of LNG twenty. So what does it mean? So this uh, releases 20, 20 microgram daily, but it has a fifty two mg of levonorgestrel again an important MCQ and life span is five year. Then see this is the multi load uh, 375 this looks so different now we you need and this is the progesterone which is again a third generation IUCD hormone wala so here you have 38 mg of progesterone and this releases daily 65 65 microgram of progesterone now coming on to the lifespan guys see all the lifespan has been written so well okay so see novati co multi load 375 uh, then uh, so this tool th 375 5 year guys. 380 at the end zero come that is 10 years then uh, this 380a is also known as your para guard again an important mcq then this progesterone hormone containing wala it has only one year okay then copper t 200b this is four year okay a two into two you can remember 200b is second leather that is four year and levonorgestrel containing iucd is that is that is can be used till seven to ten years now see uh, uh so what is the, how does this act guys okay so this uh how does this inhibits the fertilization this uh this thickens the cervical mucus if it is a hormone containing like levonorgestrel which is a progesterone so it will thicken the cervical mucus it will inhibit the sperm function okay this suppresses the endometrium and makes it non-reactive and it does not disturb your ovarian function is not disturbed by your mirina so when do you insert it so this can be so when do you insert this device okay so see this was the mechanism that we talk about so this uh, causes cellular changes in the uterus and endometrium it prevents the sperm penetration by altering the cervical mucus consistency and it inhibits the implantation so ideal time of insertion this is inserted within 10 days of menstrual cycle and within uh, 48 hours post puparium after the delivery or after 6 weeks after the delivery. So this is the insertion of IUCD. Now coming on to the contraindication of IUCD. So remember the mnemonic for IUCD it is please don't ever put contraceptive. P for pregnancy. Don't put the uh, dysfunctional uterine bleeding. That is any vaginal bleeding. Please don't put IUCD. Ever means ectopic pregnancy. Put is pelvic inflammatory disease. Please remember guys this pelvic inflammatory and ectopic most frequently repeated thing. And contraception that is CA cervix and endometrium. If you have carcinoma cervix endometrium don't put IUCD. Then say ideal con uh, candidate. He uh, must have at least one child. Must be ready for frequent follow up because there is a chances that it may get misplaced or dislodged. He, he, uh, mother, they should be in a monogamous relationship. The female should means one man relationship. No history of PID because PID was a contraindication. 
so this is so you need to follow up the patient uh, follow up what is the complication the most common complication is the bleeding for which okay most common reason for the removal of iucd is the pain so these are the complication pain perforation pregnancy uh, menstrual disturbances explosion vaginal discharge uh, these are the uh, means uh, complication so when there is a misplaced iucd means you cannot th uh, see the thread that is thread is torn or the copper tea has expelled out or it has entered the abdominal cavity by the perforation that is so investigation of choice is the x-ray or ultrasonography and gold standard is the hysteros hysteroscopy this is again important for your iucd ka thing so you need to know the mechanism then see what are the things see first of all mechanism then copper t380 10 years 380 is the amount of copper there okay and this copper t380 also known as paragate then progesterase uh, pro, uh, then progesterone. Okay, this is a hormone containing third generation of IUCD. Its life span is one year. Then you need to remember this releases 38 milligram of progesterone and daily 65 65 microgram. Then coming on to your Mirena. So Mirena is a levin orgestrol IUD system. So uh, this is known as LNG20. So daily it releases 20 milligram and it has a uh, 20 microgram and each time has a 52 micro, uh, milligram of levin orgestrol. And this has a life span of five years okay five seven to ten years month five year is approved okay so see uh this was about your iucd and this is contraindicated in history of pid and and your uh, ectopic pregnancy and your ca cervix and endometrium please remember this now coming on to see uh we'll talk about your horm hormones okay so before talking about hormones let's talk a bit about the estrogen guys so i think you might have always get confused about the three types of estrogen you have e1 e2 e3 so which one is what and what is the use of uh estrogen see estro name once come that is e1 die comes that is e2 trial that is e3 no confusion now now remembering the uses of this uh, this all all of this okay when we try to uh, know the uses of this see estrone one that is alone you can remember it one alone that is this is the hormone in the menopause after your reproductive cycle estradiol okay two people are there so that is in your reproductive age group and when you are pregnant so one is the husband one is one is the wife and one is the baby inside so this are uh, three people that is this e3 is seen in the pregnancy again an important one okay see same thing written estron estradiol reproductive estriol is in the pregnancy again an important thing that you need to know so why can't we give estrogen directly why we have certain hormone pre uh, preparation we have already three types of estrogen estron estradiol estriol but then also why do we need the synthetic estrogen guys because this estrogen undergoes intrahepatic circulation as a result this uh, has an adverse side effect and they are ineffective orally due to first pass metabolism so this ocp is okay this uh, they causes hepatic adenoma okay and your thromboembolism so be very careful then uh, coming on to this synthetic wala thing so you have ethinyl estradiol the most frequently which you see in malady mala and which we will be doing now and non estradiol one is the diethyl esbestrol this has been banned now why because this causes adenocarcinoma clear cell wala okay this is a pyq frequently repeated question i think every one or two year this question repeats itself now see uh, when we talk when we talk about this uh estrogen and progesterone ka function wala thing guys okay so estrogen is basically used to pro proliferate the endo endometrium and after the proliferatum to make it maintain the uh, maintain the endometrium that is secretory wala thing progesterone but estrogen has a risk of thromboembolism guys that is not good and this estrogen or est and this estrogen increases the risk for both breast and endometrium cancer again again a thing that we don't want okay uh, and this progesterone uh, this progesterone but this progesterone decrease which is good for us guys, uh, months so this is important now see coming on to the next one guys that is scrm that is selective estrogen receptor modulator so the most common example that every one of us knows that is tamoxifen and raloxifen so this tamoxifen has a beneficial effect on three b's okay bone may it decreases the reabsorption breast and blood breast may decreases the risk of carcinoma tamoxifen and in blood it increases the hdl and it decreases the ldl okay good uh, good uh, uh, good one it increases okay uh, and bad one bad cholesterol it decreases 
Now, see when you compare your tamoxifen and raloxifen. So, this tamoxifen, guys, endo, uh, endometrium, guys, see if you if you look at this, this raloxifen blocks the endometrium wall thing, guys, okay. And but this tamoxifen stimulate, hence, this tamoxifen, guys, increases the risk of endometrial CA. But this raloxifen does not increase your risk of endometrial CA. It has a beneficial effect even on the endometrium, this raloxifen. But this tamoxifen increases. And you have one more drug that is your. SERD selective estrogen receptor down regulator that is your full vest range. So, this is a estrogen antagonist. Uh, so, this is again an important MCQ. Now, coming on to your progesterone, wala thing, guys. So, if you talk about the progesterone, guys, this fourth generation, the best part is this, guys, these are most potent and they're anti androgenic. So, this won't cause acne, wala thing. So, if some patient ka comes with acne, another thing will prescribe this one, okay, like the drug recent, wala drug that is Yasmin, Yasmin, wala, okay, pill that we can give here. So, this is again important okay then see we have a selective progesterone receptor modulator like we had selective estrogen receptor modulator tamoxifen and deloxifen so there it is mifepristone and ulipristone the two drugs that you need to remember guys okay this mifepristone okay this has uh, this has a androgen receptor blocking activity and is a glucocorticoid so see mifepristone is effective and remember the mnemonic mifepristone m for meningioma i for induction of abortion i think you know everyone this is used to induce abortion mifepristone then fibroid then endometriosis then progesterone receptor positive breast cancer PR okay IS means increased steroid that is in Cushing syndrome ka treatment so this is all the use of your mifepristone drug what is the most common method of contraception overall guys that is your sterilization most common method the best wala thing that is sterilization now coming on to your oral contraceptive so we have hormonal contraceptive we have non-hormonal contraceptive so hormonal we have combined oral contraceptive pop progesterone only pill and we have emergency contraceptive pills three things and non-hormonal we need to remember that is the centochrome uh, centochrome and that is or or melofexin okay or, or meloxophin okay so this is uh, this initially was known as the sehli this was uh, identified uh, this was means found out in india in lucknow so this is important now coming on to your mala n and mala d okay so uh so you need to remember the composition guys composition is same for both that is ethanol estradiol and liver not gastrol remember that is ethanol estradiol is 0 0.03 mg and this liver not gastrol is five times this guys okay and progesterone if you are very specific this is liver not gastrol and this is disogastrol but that is not so important how i have remembered mala and mala d you can remember like n no cost i have remembered this mala n that is used in the night so this is free mala d that is used in the day so it is 3 rupees per packet that is cost is there in mala day okay day th 3 letter 3 rupees you can remember like this so how does this your oral contraceptive acts okay this oral contraceptive uh, so this will inhibit uh, this will increase the levels of both your estrogen and progesterone so increase level with create a negative feedback guys that will decrease your fsh and lh plans preventing the ovulation this progesterone will cause also causes atrophic changes and this progesterone makes the cervical mucus thick prevent prevent the entry of sperm this increases the tubal motility so that fertilized eggs re reaches before the endometrium is receptive for implantation so these are all your uh, mechanism of action for your OCPs so see how how are this oral contraceptive pills taken okay so like we have a tablet okay that is taken for the first 21 days and for the next seven days just to, just that the patient does not lose a habit of taking tablet we give the iron tablet see that started soon okay uh, soon or six months after the delivery I said it's not used in a breastfeeding women you can only prescribe after six months so uh, so this may this may this is safe and effective guys okay and uh, this works by preventing the release of X. This inhibits the ovulation. It should not be given till six months postpartum. Now see, co coming on, coming on, guys, to the concept of your. I uh, will also talk here about the concept of your mixed missed pills. If you have missed the pills, okay. See before the concept of missed pills. Uh, we'll we'll talk about the types of pill and other concept. Okay. See. 
we have talked OCPs inhibit the ovulation, progesterone only pill. So there is progesterone that will make the cervical mucus thick and hostile. And emergency post contraceptive, this will dislodge the implantation, inhibit the ovulation. So these are the method of using this guys. Okay. So minimum amount of ethinyl estradiol that is required, that is a 20 mg again a MCQ. Okay. Now see, uh, now coming on to the types of this OCP. So we have monophasic, biphasic and triphasic. So monophasic, same dose of estrogen and progesterone throughout the 21 days. Okay, I said for 21 days we use. Biphasic for, for our first 10 days, different dose. And for next 11 to 21 days, different dose. Triphasic means gradually increase after a week. Okay, that is your triphasic. This was so see first 21 days the drug next seven days we use the iron cut tablet okay now uh, iron cut tablet this is important see this is the mode of action which has already been discussed inhibit the ovulation tubal motility interference everything has been discussed here see uh, also also will also will talk about your uh, will first uh, do see OCP is already done mono by try this is just for re revision uses start from day one to day fifth of menstrual cycle after an mtp or abortion you can start immediately cannot be used in a lactating also we have talked about malady malayan malady daytime that is three rupees night free zero rupees okay now what are the problems with your ocp you have some tumors like liver cancer hepatic adenoma if you might have read ocp is lead to okay cervical carcinoma breast carcinoma pituitary adenoma but this protect against your endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer and benign breast disease. So what are the absolute contraindications of OCPs when we don't use? First of all in cancer of breast and genital wall. Okay. Then if you have cardiac abnormality, do not use in cardiac abnormality. Okay. In liver disease, we do not use and where there is a risk of thromboembolism, we do not use this. So this is very, at least remember these two. That is your cardiac abnormality and thromboembolism. We don't use this OCPs. Now coming on to your know, concept of mixed pills. Okay. So what happens guys? Okay. So see basically there had two types of pack. Okay. One is this starter regimen and one is this first day while Sunday regimen guys. Okay. See if you don't want to confuse missed one pill take as soon as possible simple if you have missed three or more pill guys start it a fresh guys okay do not think much if you have missed two pills so we need to see whether you have missed in week first two weeks or afterward guys if you have missed in the first two weeks means that is ovulation has not yet occurred so you can take two pill now and you can uh, use a additional backup method of contraception but you have if you have missed in the third week guys that is your after 14 days ovulation cut time is maximum so basically uh, you can throw the uh, pack and start with other method of contraception so see let's uh, missed one pill guys take as soon as remembered if you have missed two pills until uh, like second week okay day 14 if you see seven days seven 28 days ka pills it is showed here so take all other as usual and use condom that is additional method for contraception additional contraceptive now see, if you have missed two of um, more pill of this third one a week okay so you can take one of it now okay and take the others on this row one each day and then start a new bag and use use additional method of contraception if you have missed this iron wall pill it's fine throw the missed pill take others others as usual no issues even if you have missed idle pay, iron pill you cannot take excess of iron pill guys otherwise excess of nausea vomiting this are the side effect with your iron pill so be be very sure about your missed pill management if you have missed one pill it's fine take it as soon as possible miss two pill depending on your week wala miss three pills restart restart throw away the rest of the pack and start a new cycle okay and use a backup method of contraception now coming on now coming on to your uh, the contraception that is sent that is sent chromen which is uh, the composition is or meloxifen which is known as the chaya okay so this is the non steroidal non hormonal okay first advantage and this is once a uh, once a week pill that is so adherence would be better and this is supplied this is supplied free of cost in the name of chaya so see how does this help guys okay so basically th the advantage of the centochromophan uh, is this decreases the risk of your ectopic pregnancy first advantage and how do you take it okay so see we use a one pill that is 30 mg twice a week for first three months okay see suppose we have started on sunday 
okay see so first peel is taken on sunday so in a week we need to take two times so we'll take after three days that is monday tuesday wednesday second peel on wednesday so once a week we used to uh that is uh that is in one week we used uh two peel okay for the first three months then after three months okay uh we take a pill once a week uh thereafter for the next three months this is important guys okay this scent scent chromophen may be also used as a post coital so post coital means uh, emergency contraception so we'll double the dose so that it becomes more effective so 60 mz uh, within 24 hours of coitus again important so advantage guys this is safe in breastfeeding women and it decreases the risk of ectopic pregnancy again a scent chrome remember entopic ectopic okay decreases the risk of ectopic pregnancy important mcq and this is this was launched under your mission uh, mission uh, this was found in lucknow and launched under the mission parivar vikas now coming on to your uh, depot wala okay so we have dmpa depot metroxy progesterone acetate this is uh, available under the trade name of antra you can see the dosing guys that is 150 mg okay every 3 month again a important mcq 150 mg once in 3 month okay this is your antra wala and this is given im okay this was about your im wala thing now see we have also we have also subdermal implant okay and this patch wala thing okay so this so basically this is the patch how we uh, how we apply apply the patch wala thing okay so for all of this now guys like it's like three week one week wala thing three week you apply one week you leave so see one patch is applied for seven days three patches are replaced and no patch is applied on the fourth week means for three week you continue and for the fourth week you leave again the similar thing like we do like we do for other uh, like we do for your oral OCP while appeal for three weeks we use and for next week we use your iron cup tablets now see coming on to your subdermal implant so we have not plant one we have no plant two we have implant one so this no plant one it has six rod and each contain 36 mg of levonorgestrel important okay this levonorgestrel is a progesterone so it will thicken the cervical mucus this no plant two it has two rod with 75 mg of levonorgestrel again the same mechanism and this implant on this is i means single me wala thing and this this has your disogastrol this is most commonly used nowadays that that is your okay that is your uh month's implant on okay insertion so first day of menstrual cycle within five days of abortion or three weeks after delivery again it will inhibit your ovulation endometrium kytrophy and thicken the cervical mucus mechanism of action okay see this we have already done this hormonal, hormonal contraceptive we have done now coming on to your progesterone only pill okay so how does this progesterone also this contains a low dose of progesterone without any estrogen so if you have no estrogen means it can be safe in breastfeeding women okay so see these are the contraceptive of choice in your lactating women in your sickle cell anemia in your caesar cut disorder okay this is important okay and then they are given daily without any break almost at the same time try giving at the same time when you have given so how does this act again progesterone thicken the cervical mucosa prevent the ovulation okay and it inhibit the tubal motility this is up this is about you about your uh progesterone only pills okay so uh, uh what are the non-contraceptive benefit of uh, oral contraceptive which they like to ask you guys so remember the mnemonic other benefit okay o for ovarian cyst k according it benefit b for benign breast disease e for ectopic pregnancy n for neoplasia e for endometriosis f for thyroid i for iron deficiency t for guys tension now uh, okay premenstrual tension syndrome s for skeletal benefit that is rheumatoid arthritis and osteoporosis okay so this was your uh progesterone only pill that contain levonorgestrel thing indication thromboembolism ka risk it will decrease why because it has no estrogen so this will decrease the risk of thromboembolism which is seen in combined oral contraceptive and this is the contraceptive of choice in your lactation wala thing again an important thing that you need to know now coming on to your uh, emergency contraception guys so basically emergency contraception means after you have ha uh, had, uh, had sex okay without using a method of contraception so this method is known as your USP and lance method so basically here you give more dose okay now seeing the combined oral contraceptive guys okay so this combined oral contraceptive this levonorgestrel and mifepristone has to be used within your 72 hours so within 72 hours we have three options so levonorgestrel how can you give it guys okay 1.5 mg oral single dose or 0.5 mg within 72 hours and second tablet okay we need to give 1.5 0.75 you have given and after 12 hours you give 0.75 mg then mifepristone guys which was a selective progesterone receptor modulator 
so this is used for emergency contraception also for induction of abortion already done the mnemonic mifi priston guys that you can revise that is 600 mg within the 72 hours then see we we have a drug that is your uli prestal guys okay this can be used up till 5 days and this iud guys also can be used up till 5 days this is important up till 5 days if they ask you answer answer should be iud okay and this uli prestal the dose is 30 mg single dose Again, again, an important thing that you need to know here, guys. Also, scent chromophen 60 mg can be used, guys. See, when we talk about this dosing of your OC pills, guys, okay. So, we have either two things, guys, okay. So, basically, here you need to increase that dose. So, 30 microgram you can give four pill immediately and four pills two hour later. Or you have a different option, guys, okay. That is your 50 mg two pills. Basically, you need to give 100 mg, guys. So, 50 mg ka two pills also is 100. 30 mg that is 120, means more than 100. Basically, you need to have more than 100 so that it acts as an emergency contraceptive. This is again important. Now, coming on to your technique, your female sterilization. So, we have either conventional technique or laparoscopic technique. So, conventional either through the vagina or per abdomen. So, per abdomen, we have technique like your Madelina's technique, Uchida technique, Pomeroy's or Parkland technique, Irving technique and Kroner's femdectomy technique. Then coming on to a laparoscopic guys, okay. This is the laparoscopic which you see day in and out in your hospital that is being performed. That is your fallop ring technique if it is performed. Yeah, what I have seen in my posting is the uh, is performing performing it simultaneously if the patient agrees to it after they have two kids. That is your pomidoy technique which is the most commonly used. And laparoscopic guys, we have the fallop ring which is most commonly used. This also I have seen in my posting. And you can also have clips guys, okay. See, this is the fallop ring applying a ring okay this is a fallop ring also we have we can have filchy silicon clips or halka cement slim clips okay this is about laparoscopy so when do you do guys okay so after normal delivery after 24 hours we can do or c-section immediately can be done or interval sterilization six weeks after delivery so where do you do that is at the proximal and middle one third of the tube and we have also one more technique of sterilization that is your ECO technique guys okay so here this micro inserts the one which you see in the photo they are inserted in the fallopian tube that will cause foreign body reaction and is scarring around it hence leading to blockage so that uh, so, uh, so that this will cause sterilization now coming on to the each technique how to identify what is the image based question guys okay so see first of all pomeroy's technique guys see what pomeroy's technique this looks like a p so basically you make a loop okay this p we have taken guys okay and you cut it that is your pomeroy's technique then see irving technique irving that is inside i n okay so this technique you bury it inside your myometry in me okay remember it like this in me technique okay here you bury it inside the myometry okay when you look at this uchida technique wala guys okay this is buried guys but you see this does not go inside guys but this goes in your broad ligament that is a miso sulfate that is a uchida technique okay this parkland okay so basically uh, in parkland what you do a part of it is removed guys okay in your parkland wala thing a part of the tube is removed that is your parkland this fellow ring or the cialistic band already done guys the laparoscopic method this is your filchy clip this Kroner's fimbrectomy, the name only indicate fimbria is wala cut, okay? The, so basically at the end guys, it's ligated. That is fimbrial end cut, that is fimbrectomy. Irving, see, this is inside the myometry. Uchida, this goes inside your broad ligament. Do you see guys coming inside the mad laners guys, okay? So basically, remember when you have a crush on someone, you get mad, okay? So that is crushed wala technique. If someone asks you, that is your mad laners technique. Now see, parkland guys, part of land is removed. Do you see? A part of the tube gets removed. Removal of isthmic segment. If we talk about the Uchida wala technique, guys, okay. So this Uchida is the Ida, that is broad ligament wala. So basically, you put the proximal stump in the mesosalping, that is broadly. Irving in me, that is inside the myometrium, you embed it. Do you see, guys, look at this photo. This goes inside the myometrium, but here, this goes inside your broad ligament. That is your Uchida's technique. Now coming on to the method of sterilization in male that is your vasectomy. This has a failure rate of about 0.515%. What is the most common cause of failure guys? That is your misidentification of your wash difference. So what are the types of vasectomy? Either the conventional vasectomy, non-scalpel vasectomy or minimally invasive vasectomy. So see this non-scalpel vasectomy is performed nowadays guys. Okay, it includes, it has only one incision. While this conventional had three incision guys. Okay, so, so this is also known as keyhole vasectomy. Vasectomy. What is the eligibility criteria for vasectomy? The, he should be married. 
he should have at least one child more than one year of age he should be a male should be of sound mind he should be able to make decision immediately age must be less than 60 and no past history of sterilization of his spouse okay this is the criteria for your vasectomy so what are the post of advice after you have removed it guys if we look at guys so this is the pathway of the sperm wall seminal vesicles epididymis vas deferens uh, okay this is the pathway how the how the sperm reaches guys so after you have done guys okay so after uh, patient need 20 to 30 ejaculation or 3 months okay before he can de uh, be declared completely sterile before declaring if him sterile please uh, do a, at least two semen uh, analysis showing that sperm is not there so he should use the barrier method for the next 3 months this is important okay once the patient is declared a spermic okay now, now no more sterilization because no sperm is there so no chance of fertilization avoid uh, avoid for 24 hours testis bandage should be used for 15 days and stage removal after your five days this is the post of advice that you give to your patient in those who have undergone vasectomy now coming on to the summary of whatever we read okay let's revise the entire chapter in five minutes guys okay combined oral contraceptive we have malady malayan malady both have the same composition levonorgestrel ethinyl estradiol that is 0 0.03 mg and 0 0.15 mg malady daytime three rupees night free no cost now progesterone only pill used for lactating women safe also iud's can be used guys so uh, the dose is levonorgestrel 30 mg dose we use normally while dose okay then see we have a we have also a new drug that is gossipul that was a male pill guys but the problem was that now this cause a azoospermia so we we means uh, we do not use it now this was identified by china okay then progesterone only injectable guys we have depot medroxy progesterone acetate already done 150 mg guys intramuscular every three months we have also one drug guys okay that is neten so we here we use 200 mg uh, i am every two month guys okay then coming on to the subdermal implant guys we had not plant one not plant two and implant on not plant one guys had 35 mg k six rod not plant two 75 mg k two rods guys okay so this is again important and also we had implant on then hormonal IUCD guys that is third generation Mirina so levonorgestrel uh, this is known as LNG 20 so because it releases at 20 microgram and it contains 52 mg again a important and also we had their progesterone asset that was one year while a lifespan that is again important guys okay then see they have these two things guys new thing okay that is one is the ortho evra patch and one is the nuva ring technique guys okay so see this is again like a OCP guys so three week will use one week will leave guys okay no need to remember much of the composition it's fine guys okay this is the failure rate of contraception like this vasectomy it has 0.15 failure rate this condom this has 10 to 10 to 14 failure rate of contraception okay this is again important now it's emergency contraceptive side levonorgestrel 0.75 mg 12 hours apart two dose or 1.5 mg single dose guys already done see then we have we have basically your uh, mifepristone 600 mg we give single dose also we can give high dose of estrogen copper iodis guys this is very important can be used till five days very important the scent chromophen can be used only within 24 hours again important guys and here we double the dose instead of 30 mg we give 60 mg uli crystal can be used again till five days and we use 30 mg guys that is a selective progesterone wala modulator so, okay now see now uh, if someone asks you the contraception of choice guys okay so this is the question that frequently comes in your exam and we always get confused what to answer okay now see if someone has a previous history of uh, pelvic inflammatory disease guys pakka be sure we won't give guys iucd that was a strict absolute contraindication so pelvic inflammatory disease guys like a sexually transmitted disease so basically barrier is should be because they prevent STDs. then if someone has a previous history of ectopic pregnancy guys okay so basically we can either give ocps also we in ocps we have a drug guys that is centochroman because this decreases the risk of your ectopic pregnancy again an important thing that you need to know because this ocp is what they do they inhibit the ovulation when there is no ovulation jab ovulation in hua, to there is no chance of ectopic pregnancy then if there is a multiple partners okay means uh, she is involved with multiple partners so better to decrease the risk of std by giving a barrier method if there is a ca cervix so ca cervix is caused by human papilloma virus which is again a sexually transmitted disease so again we will use barrier method if the mother is lactating guys please only two things that we can do either we can give progesterone only pills or this iucds okay lactational amenorrhea is not so preferred guys okay because uh, you should fulfill the criteria 
then if there is sickle cell anemia guys or epilepsy so here you can give two things guys one is your dmp or the progesterone only pill or the mini pill guys okay so you need to be sure anything can be uh, see the option and mark guys okay if you give ocps and iod guys okay so this ocps and iod contain estrogen guys so they will increase the risk of your thromboembolism so you cannot give it and sickle cell anemia is a hypercoagulable state so you need to give progesterone only pill or your matlab dipotmedoxy progesterone caseted because it has only progesterone so you can give that also if there is a trophoblastic tumor guys so ocps is the treatment of choice why ocps guys if you give iucds guys okay iucds cause irregular bleeding so we don't know either the bleeding is due to iucd use or due to trophoblastic tumors wala thing so we don't know or also there is a increased risk of perforation in your trophoblastic wala tumor guys if there is a newly married couple who is living to, uh, together guys best is ocps oral contraceptive pill that is the best take for first 21 days then iron tablets guys if you want spacing between your babies leave i i u c d is the best why like if you use copper t380 10 year ka spacing you can get if you use progest asset 1 year ka spacing you get so that is basically multi load 375 5 year ka spacing so that is best couple living in different cities and meeting occasionally guys okay when you are meeting occasionally like once in a month or so so you don't need to take ocps throughout guys use a barrier method that is the best if female is wanting regular menstrual cycle ocp is best why because 21 days it will make the cycle regular guys so i think nothing is best than ocp epilepsy sickle cell anemia already done if the patient has a menorrhagia guys that is using using a excessive bleed loss okay that is mini, uh, mirena can be used hirsutism guys basically excess of androgen so we will use anti androgenic wala ocp that was your fourth generation which we already read so uh, anti like ya yasmin wala can be used if you have heart disease or anti coagulation guys ocp is contra indicated so we will use iucds in this case so this was all about your contraception of choice and this is about your drug dosing that you need to know so this both pages needs to come in your 20th notebook that you need to revise before your exam this are the most important thing that can be asked in your exam guys okay so this was all about your all about your contraceptive techniques all the methods with the help of mnemonics that will help you to revise and summarize entire points of your psm parks and your uh, obg has been covered guys okay revise it once and try so, try solving mcq from any q bank or any book whichever you have guys okay uh, do it okay today itself if you if you like it guys do comment like share and subscribe to the channel please share with your friends happy learning guys